in a world where billions of people struggle to make ends meet. It can be difficult to imagine how the richest people spend their money, however. It is a fascinating topic to explore. Before we proceed, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. The lifestyles of the super rich are often extreme and extravagant, far beyond what most people can even imagine. They spend millions of dollars on homes, cars, and vacations, and they invest in businesses, art, and philanthropic causes. Some of the richest people even own their own private islands and jets. It's easy to see how the lives of the richest people are very different from the lives of most people. The debate around how the world's richest people spend their money raises many questions. On one hand, it's their money and they can spend it however they want. But on the other hand, it's hard to ignore the fact that they have so much while others have so little. And when we consider the source of their wealth, it becomes even more complicated. So, where do we draw the line? Should we hold the super rich to a different standard? Or should we just accept that they are entitled to spend their money however they want? These are complex questions, and there is no simple answer. These associations are the building blocks of implicit learning. They allow us to make connections between different pieces of information, and they allow us to learn new things without even realizing it. But how do these associations get formed in the first place? It turns out that there are a few different ways. One way is through classical conditioning, which is a process where an association is formed between the stimuli that are repeatedly experienced together. For example, if a bell is always followed by food, a person will eventually associate the bell with food and will salivate when they hear it. Or that you can recognize a song. After only hearing it once, these are examples of implicit learning. Our brains are constantly absorbing information from our surroundings, whether we're paying attention or not. And this information can be stored in our memory without us even realizing it. Don't forget subscribe, comment, share, and like my video. Thanks for watching.